So in today's video, we're gonna be going over how to create this design right here. This is kind of a trippy outline, a ghost design. It is really quick and easy to make, so this will be a super quick tutorial. Um, and you can again use this on you know any style you want, but as Halloween is coming up and we need to start putting stuff up now. I thought that for the next you know few videos, we're gonna go on a little bit of a quarter four themed um, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas kind of vibe. So that's what we're gonna be working on going forward. So if this is something that you'd like to learn how to do, go ahead and stick around. So as always, we are going to be starting with our blank background. It is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. And I am going to be designing on black today. Um, though for this first design, I'm going to go ahead and actually select a really dark gray. And you'll see why in a minute. This is going to be a really quick tutorial. And I just want to show you one technique that you can use. And since Halloween is coming up, let's just go ahead and go with a Halloween theme. So we are just going to go ahead and go with a ghost graphic. So I'm going to write in ghost. And I'm going to sort by graphics. And I am looking for a ghost graphic that is pretty much just one color or you know, white and black, but I don't want a bunch of grays or shadows. I want it to be pretty simple. So let's just go ahead and go with this ghost right here. He's pretty easy. Uh, now I'm going to be closing that and I'm gonna be showing you what I would like to do with this ghost. So I want to do a little trippy effect on him and we're gonna to have to save him as an image. I'll show you why. If I click edit image and I go ahead and I go to trippy, I wanna do this stencil one right here. So if I click on that, Give it a second. You'll see the ghost has turned into three different lines. Problem is because it is a graphic, it is boxed in, which means that if I go to shift this some more, so if I was to shift, I'm kind of trapped by this box. You see, I'm kind of getting cut off. So if you don't want your image to get cut off, what you have to do is save it. Um, on a page so that you've got a lot of room around the graphic and then you'll have room to space it out. So with that being said, I'm just going to cancel that and we're just going to go ahead and really quickly just save this ghost right here. So I'll just download real quick. I'm going to use a transparent background. And once I download him, you'll see it's going to make a big difference when I go to do the trippy effect. So once I've got it downloaded, and it is downloading right now. Okay, I can go ahead and just pull this ghost off and I'm going to drag and drop my new ghost right on. Okay, and now that I have this new ghost, I can go ahead and edit the image. So once this is done loading, give it a sec, there it is. I can come to edit image and we can go ahead and try that again. So we're gonna scroll down this time until we get to trippy, give it a sec, see all. There is a stencil one right here so we can click stencil. And again, we're gonna give it a second. Okay, so now we can see those three ghosts and they're not getting cut off. If I click these three lines right here, it gives me the ability to change some of these things. So if I want it to be a really big shift, I can move it over. If I want it to be very little shift, I can move it this way. And so you can see how you sort of play with that. Let's say I wanna do a really big shift just for this so that you can see it. I can also change the angle. So right now they're just going sideways, but I can woo, play with the ghosts. All right, so you can see how I can play with the ghost there. That one actually looks kind of cool the way the ghosts are going that way. Maybe I'll go ahead and do that one. And then there is a pass through effect. So if you had a photo where you wanted to be able to see some of the details, I can bring up this pass through and see now it's showing you woo, the ghosts. And so I can do this and that's how you would get like more of a solid look or you do this and this is how you get more of just the outline. So. Anything you wanna play with, if you wanna create some trippy designs, you can do some really cool like see-through type stuff like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it black for now. And again, I'm gonna hit apply and I'm gonna give it a second to finalize. And you'll see now that there's a black background around this. This is why I decided to put it on a dark gray initially, just so that I could show you that there is a background that we're gonna to have to remove. Um, so we are gonna to have to do a background removal and hopefully it'll work pretty good since these are just simple lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll come up here and we'll try our background removal, cross our fingers that it works well, okay? So I'm gonna click that and we are just gonna wait and see what happens. 
There you go. Perfect. So it actually looks like it did a great job. I'm not seeing any black anywhere and it doesn't look like it's deleted any of the ghosts. So I'm going to go ahead and click apply. I think that one's pretty good. And so we'll just give that a second to finalize. And now I do want to see what it's going to look like on a black background. So here I can just go ahead and change my background color now to black. That way you can really see if the ghosts are going to pop there. At this point, I can readjust the size if I want to and the placements. I can add text, um, whatever I might want to do to make this a really cool design. Personally, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like this. The benefit to not putting any words on it is that something like this can sell in every marketplace pretty easily because I don't have to worry about translation or, you know, things getting lost in translation. So when there's no words on it, it's pretty universal. So something like this, a ghost, you can you can sell anywhere. So I'm just going to leave it here. I'm not even going to put any words on it. And I'm just going to title this Trippy Ghost. Okay. And that's all there is to it. I'm going to go ahead and download this and we're going to download it as a PNG. I'm going to do it as a transparent background and I'm going to click download. And that's really it for this technique. Again, you can use this on anything, but as Halloween is coming up, you should start doing your Halloween designs now and go ahead and get as many different um, sub niches and cross niches up as you can. If you do a search on Amazon just for Halloween shirts and you go broad, you'll find it. Um, a bunch of different like sub subcategories. You might have to scroll through a lot of Disney stuff before you get to, to some of the ones that you can copy. Just be sure to go ahead and trademark check everything, but it is a good time to be doing that. Okay. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the future videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.